I bought this digital HDTV indoor slash outdoor antenna at Amazon for about uh, $20. Here we're looking at the specs. Check this out. It has a range supposedly of about 35 miles. But I was, I was uh, able to get some channels outside that range, which I wasn't expecting. Cable's about 16, uh, six and a half feet long, so it's good length for you to experiment uh, what location you want in it. Has a magnetic base that is uh, nice, so you can just, this part here, you just screw it into this magnetic base. And I experimented with uh, putting this on the back of the TV, one side or the other, in front of the TV, even on top of the TV, which was pretty neat with this magnetic base. And there's the uh, cable that comes with it, like I said, about 16 feet, 16 and a half feet. So it's a good length for you to move it around to the window or, and then scan for your channels. Okay, here's the first place I put it. And I put it on the other side, I put it in front of the TV and uh, see what channels I was getting. Uh, it varied a little bit. And sometimes you lose the channel, so if, uh, every once in a while you, you want to scan. Uh, we're not probably, probably not going to use this that much. Uh, I bought this just to see uh, how it worked out in case we decide to uh, end our cable uh, service. So click, uh, go to the Antenna TV, click on it. So I'm going to show you the channels that I got <clears throat> and then uh, show you how I set it up. Now we live about six miles from the uh, Mexican border, so most of these stations, here's that was Fox Air. Most of these are going to be Mexican stations. You can see the exit uh, there in front, that's uh, Mexico. Another one. But the picture quality is pretty good. Better than I thought it would be. Now, once you set up your uh, antenna, you can see the channels there. Here, Mexican again. You can also pause live TV. Here's channel uh, five or ABC, the ABC uh, affiliate here. Another station, there's uh, Me TV here. Again, the quality is a lot better than I thought I was going to get. Now, I've already got it set up here. And I got a 16 uh, USB, uh, 16 gigabyte uh, USB flash drive in the back already. Here's NBC. Here's uh, CBS. And here's Fox One, NFL Sunday, if there is an NFL. Again. Fox 2, and then I'm going to go back, so here I'm, I'm showing you the, how I can pause it, okay? Right here, I'm going to pause and then rewind, okay? So there it is, paused. And you got 90 minutes that you can record with uh, 16 gigabytes. USB. You can't do more than that though. And if you change the channel or turn it off, it stops the recording. Okay, so it only records if you're watching that particular station. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, show you how I set it up here. So I go to the uh, Antenna link right here, Antenna TV, and then I click on the uh, 
star button on your Roku and it gives you this, this screen start button and then you can scan for channels you can see all the options you have there okay if you reconnect an antenna or cable then the system can search for all available channels this may take up to 30 minutes it only took about two or three uh, when I did it uh, I got about 20 channels as you saw and I kind of speeded this up a little bit but it doesn't take more than two two or three minutes at least in my case you get a lot more channels in your area again that's going to depend on your location the, the strength of the signal that's uh, around you for those particular uh, stations Live TV pause allows you to rewind and play back up to 90 minutes of the current digital channel you're watching. And then you click on setup here. And again, it tells you here that you can't do more than 90 minutes regardless. And you could have a, a 60 gigabytes on that USB. It's still not going to record more than 90 minutes. Done. And then it goes to this. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.